And here we have a little view of, uh, this is a special focus on the glaciation. You can see glacial striation. You can see clay layers called varves from Lake Hitchcock. And this is a really cool uh, diorama of Lake Hitchcock and all the things that were underwater at the time of Lake Hitchcock. So here's Mount Tom and the Holyoke Range. There's the water gap. And this is Amherst College, so we would have been on the island, surrounded by the water. Um, up here, you have Mount Sugarloaf, and that's and then that's South Mount Sugarloaf. That's the one we climb. And then there's Mount Sugarloaf. And then around here, this is Mount Toby. And around back here under this lobe of the glacier is actually Cranberry Pond, where a chunk of the glacier broke off, got buried in sediment washing out of the glacier. And then uh, an esker formed that went into Cranberry Pond as well. So as the glacier receded away, it left... Uh, an upside down river deposit, sort of an ice cave river deposit. Uh, so a long snaky hill runs into the lake.